What if I told you you could present your streetwear designs in just a couple of simple clicks without paying for a photographer, a studio, or a model? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. If you already have Photoshop, I'm sure this is all very familiar to you already. If you don't have Photoshop, then you can use Photopea for free as well. That's a really good alternative. At the top, we've got the manual overview and we can click the eyeball here to hide that. That just gives you an overview of how to use it. So if you're using Photoshop for the first time, don't be daunted by this. It is so easy to use intentionally. So it works for people that are in a rush and they just want to present their work well. And it works for people that are using Photoshop for the first time and they want to get a feel for it. So we've got a couple of options here for the background initially. So we've got the natural background. We can have that on or off. I quite like that because it gives it a nice solid frame when you're working to a nice bright website. Um, we can change the background as well. At the moment that's set to white and we can change it to anything we wanted. So whatever's on brand for you, you can set that to anything. And then over here, this is where all the magic happens in the full model folder. Click the arrow to drop this down. You can see the first thing we have the option to do is turn the model on or off. So some people quite like that floating 3D garment look. So it's like a 3D render feel. Um, we're going to leave the model on for now, but if you wanted to have that off, you could. And then in the hoodie customization, this is where you put your design work and all your features. Drawstrings is a little bit of a thing that people in the streetwear scene don't like this drawstrings, so we can switch them off. Um, alternatively, if you wanted them on, you can, and you can change the color to anything you like. It just go for blue or white or whatever. I'm going to switch the drawstrings off, I think, for this one. Don't worry about lighting. That's just where all the effects are that make this look realistic. So next down, we've got the sleeves folder so if we drop this down you can see we've got the left sleeve and the right sleeve to update the artwork in there we can just double click and you could just then drag and drop your artwork in here so for this example i'm just going to invert it so it's black i'm going to change the garment color as well by double clicking on this i'm going to put it to a gray so you can see the white and the black where i'm transforming things then we can go into the right sleeve and again, I'm just going to invert that, but you could just drag and drop your artwork onto there. Close that down. And when you click close, hit save, and then that will update the template on the main master file. And then if we go to the front of the product here as well, we can double click that. Same thing. Um, go and drag and drop your artwork in there. But also, if you wanted to use this as a guide, you can switch this on. You've got this little placement guide at the bottom and it shows where everything is. So if you wanted a, a design down on the pouch, then you, you could do that. And if you want to know where the drawstrings are going to sit, then you can do that too. And then let's say we wanted to flood the garment with a pattern. We could just literally drag and drop that in just above the garment color. And that will flood the entire garment with, with a pattern of our choice. And that is literally it. It's so simple to use. You literally just drag and drop your designs in, save them down, double click to move the colors around and choose whatever you like, switch the drawstrings on and off, entirely up to you, whatever that look is that you're going for. And then once you're happy, let's go and save that down. So I would go to export and then export as. So when you're exporting this, you have a few different options. So you can obviously do PNG or you can do a JPEG. I'm going to do a JPEG because I'm going to do this for web. I'd personally go for 2000 for a website because it's going to, you don't want it to be too heavy on the load speed. Um, I'll probably go for nearest neighbor as well. And we can then add in copyright details if you really want to do that. And uh, then you go and export it and you're good to go. And that is literally it. It's so, so easy to use. So the source files for this are down in the description. Always love to see what you guys have cooked up using our products. So tag us with at Studio and 8 or hashtag Studio and 8 If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Shoot us an email or DM us. Always there to help out 24-7. And in the meantime, look forward to seeing what you make using this. Cheers.